the county. Look, Let's I, have honest accounting. I agreed with the, I agreed with that we're going to make it through it, but not in the way he was talking because he's not telling. Look, nobody's telling you the truth. That's why I have this next guest here. I have been looking for, I've been looking for people who are honest, who have integrity, who are going to say the hard things. You may not want to hear it, but you know what? Sometimes you got to go to the doctor, and they got to tell you you got cancer. Now, if you don't want to hear that information, that's fine. But you're going to only get sicker, and then you're going to die. If you listen to the doctor, there's a chance that you'll survive. There's a better than just a chance we'll survive. We always fight our way through it. We're Americans. But we've got to listen to what the prognosis is here. Walter Zimmerman, he is the vice president of United ICAP. It's a financial data and analysis company. You are just a company that just takes data points, right? You just look at all of the different things that are out there, and you, you just have the picture based on data points. Yeah, our responsibility is to give the correct advice, to tell it like it is, to diagnose the problem, and give our clients uh, strategic uh, trading, uh, hedging, okay. so All right. on. Um, and you've been saying for three years that we are headed for real trouble. You yes. believe that we're yes. not only headed for a depression, do you believe that we're, uh, we're, at, we're at the doorstep or just walking through the... I, I think we're entering into it right now. And the key is the combination of a collapsing equity market, a collapsing real estate market, and a collapsing commodity market. It's extremely rare that those three trends occur together, and the last time they did was the Great Depression. Okay. Um, look, I, I, I don't want to be a guy who's you know all gloom and doom and no hope, because there is hope if we experience the pain. But yes. everybody is yes. telling us, there's two things. I, w could you explain this to me? I don't understand this. Last night, Barack Obama said, um, our greatest, um, our, the lifeblood of our economy. Do you remember that? Did you hear this? A lifeblood of our economy is credit. And we've got to get the credit market open. And I thought to myself, and I'm not an economist. I don't do what you do. So explain. Tell me where I'm wrong. I thought of my house. And if my house, the lifeblood of my house was credit, we'd be doomed. The lifeblood of my house is production, that I'm, bring, I'm making something and bringing new money in. Yes. Now, the thing here is, the reason we got into this mess in the first place is because the whole economy was built on credit. Credit is debt. And that easy money pushed prices, especially real estate prices, to unsustainable levels. And when the house of cards started to unravel, then suddenly people are asking, well, where did all the money go? Everybody seemed to be so wealthy before. Where did it all go? It was never money in the first place. It it's was deep. credit. And now it's debt that's being called in. And now people need to raise cash to pay down debt. So, so here's, the, here's the problem, Walt, that I don't think people understand yet that, and, and correct, please, please tell me I'm wrong, that what we had going was bogus. Absolutely. It was all Absolutely. paper. It was Absolutely. all, there wasn't anything real. So when anybody says, oh, we're going to come back, we just have to get it started again, we got to get people spending again because they'll bring it back, it's not going back then. No, and it's not going to happen. It's like somebody wakes up with a hangover and you try and give him vodka to cure his hangover. It's not going to work. Right. A, a credit bubble has just collapsed. Markets need to return to cash. Consumers need to raise their cash levels, and prices need to get cheap enough so that people feel compelled to buy, which means the only way out of this is deflation. You have to go through the pain of deflation in order for the economic cycle to bring back a recovery. How, how irresponsible are t uh, two things here. Um, <clears throat> first of all, anybody who's telling you, go out and buy right now, go out and spend, you've got to take this money and spend. Irresponsible. Absolutely irresponsible. It's the worst possible advice for the individual consumer right, right it might now. might be good for everybody, but you can't... It, it might be great for the economy and for certain businesses, but it would be irresponsible for uh, a, a consumer trying to raise cash, right. pay down debt, to go out and spend. They're just not going to do it. Okay. Because number two, they also see that prices are going down. The longer they wait, I the know. cheaper things get. Okay, so real quick, because I'm, I'm, I'm way past time here. Uh, Obama just a announced a $634 billion reserve fund to partially pay for the vast expansion of the U.S. health care system. 
He is going to pay for that by trimming tax breaks for the wealthy, tightening payments to insurers, hospitals, and physicians. How irresponsible is it to now have a new program for $634 billion on a down payment on the expansion of health care? Well, you know, I think what part of what's going on here is to try and keep people employed. Because if there's a new round of layoffs, then deflation is going to take control, and then we're in real deep trouble. Because if people don't have jobs, then they will definitely not spend. Um, I'd love to have you back. Would you, would, you, would you think that Rupert Murdoch was overstating it when he, he issued a memo here at Fox yesterday? And, and in it he said, this is a, 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 a point in history where nations will be redefined. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's pretty frank. Economic systems will be redefined by this. This is a once-in-a-generation event, and to be honest, the forces at work are much more serious and severe and deeply rooted than what this country faced during the Great Depression. When do we hit, when do we hit bottom? We're thinking around 2012 things will start to... What does unemployment look like in 2012? Well, a lot higher than it is now, and actually we what, think... Give me, give, me a, give me a ballpark. 15% higher. Some argue that it's already there, that there's a lot of people who just gave up okay. looking for jobs. Okay. 15, 20%. 20%. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Again. You bet. Now, California.